was the most petty thing an adult did to you when you were younger. When I was like 9 or 10, I was rollerblading home from my mom's work, right? And I'm heading down 4th Street, and I find something like $16 on the ground. A 10, a 5, and single. Just laying there on the sidewalk next to some outdoor seating at a cafe. Being the obnoxiously nice kid that I was, I picked it up and kind of look around, wondering if anybody lost their money. That's when the lady in the weird sweater vest comes around the corner. We make eye contact, and I tell her I found this money, and she goes, huh. Let me see it. And my naive ass is like, oh yeah, that makes sense. She's a grown-up she can sort this out. She looks around, hands me the single back, puts her finger to her mouth in a shush gesture, then she just fucks off, never to be seen again. In high school, I was suspended for letting out a little toot. We were almost out of ice cream, I made myself the last bowl. I came into the living room to eat it and my dad took it and ate it all because I didn't offer him any. I was about 8. I'm 41 and I still hide while eating bowls of ice cream. When I was 10, an aunt told me to stop eating so much or you'll get fat like your parents and sister. I believe that was the first time I've ever wanted to clock someone. P.S. That aunt was a hundred pounds heavier than either one of my parents at the time and is close to 200 pounds heavier now, well both of them have lost 75 plus pounds. I remember Anon hitting my hand with a pencil because I was using a really short pencil. I had been using it forever and was really proud it was still working. She came over and whipped my hand, then grabbed the tiny little pencil and threw it behind her. When I was a little kid, I got a bad grade on a spelling quiz or something in elementary school, and my dad was so upset for some reason that I was instructed to sit on the floor and not touch anything or move for hours until they let me go to bed. A teacher in my Catholic grade school was also the mother of one of my classmates. He was kind of a bully, so when I had a birthday party I didn't invite him. She confronted me about it and would go out of her way to make school miserable for me. When my parents brought it up to the administration she denied it. Now, I wasn't actually Catholic, just went there because it was a nice school. So as an actual member of the parish she was believed over me. I ended up needing to move schools before I got the grade that she taught. My swimming teacher promised me a candy bar if I jumped off the board when I couldn't swim and when I did, they said they forgot, but I saw them eating one in the lounge. I was five and I was betrayed. Another thing that some teacher did instead of teach me to swim was to try and teach the group how to keep their eyes open underwater and see. We all had goggles on and had to take them off to do this. Also I didn't learn to swim there, I ended up learning at a hotel on vacation when my sister taught me like a year later. Grounded me for leaving a hanger on the dryer. Then extended it for reading ball grounded. Then further for sleeping one told I can't read. Shit still pisses me off years later. I was feeling sick one day in grade 3 or 4 and the substitute teacher wouldn't let me go to the nurse's office because I didn't look sick enough. I had strep throat. When I was in like 5th grade, I didn't put a book cover on my math book. It required cutting up a paper bag or something similar and I just never did it. So my math teacher took away my book and I couldn't do homework or follow along in class. Like what the fuck, who does that to a kid? When my mom found out she went down to the school and raised hell about interfering with my right to an education or something. The school district was terrified of her until I graduated. I was in middle school at a friend's sleepover. Her parents were very strict, her and her siblings got pulled out of public school to go to Catholic school and they scared hell out of me. Anyway, it was probably like 11pm at the sleepover and her mom hesitantly let us watch the Disney movie Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century. I laughed at a part and even though her parents were awake they came into the living room to scold me for being too loud. Not long after I took a drink of water got a little strangled and started coughing. They called my parents after 11pm to come pick me up because I couldn't behave. They had no regard for them being asleep and having jobs to get to early in the morning, they wanted me out for laughing and coughing in the span of about 10 minutes. My parents never let me stay the night at her house again and are still pissed at them for doing that almost 20 years later. I went to a Catholic school where my teacher's daughter was also in my third grade class. Early in the school year my grandfather had passed away, he was more like a father to me, so I was absolutely destroyed. He had given me a pink rabbit's foot before he got sick and I carried that with me everywhere and I would pet it when my anxiety was really bad. Well, her daughter had told her mom that I had it in my desk all the time. It was taken away then later she denied that she ever had it. I left that school after that year but that teacher ended up following her daughter through all her grades to stay her teacher all the way through 8th grade.